This morning, the weather maps tell a troubling story. Storms are brewing that could disrupt travel nationwide, including at some of the airline's biggest hubs in Chicago, New York, and Atlanta. And while storms are never good for air travel, the pandemic strain system will have an even harder time. We would ask that people be understanding right now. The number of people hitting the roads and the skies this Thanksgiving is nearing pre-pandemic levels, more than 53 million. Flight bookings are up over 100 percent since last year, but the travel industry has had trouble rebounding. Do people, before they even walk out the front door, have to manage their expectations for what this is going to be like? Right. It's not going to be smooth. The world has not returned to normal and won't return to normal probably through the rest of the year. Airports are asking people to show up two hours in advance for domestic flights and double check their carry on. It's a jar, if it's in a, can, it's in a can, or even if it's homemade, then you want to put that in your check bag. TSA says it has enough staff, but the lines will be long. And authorities are asking passengers to extend their patience to the skies after airline staff have faced an uptick in unruly passengers. How concerned are you about this dynamic? And, and do you think more needs to be done to enforce measures against people who act out? I am very concerned about it. The level of unruly behavior is, is much higher uh, than, than I have ever seen it. There are challenges on the roads, too. Rental cars are hard to find and are expensive, costing nearly $100 a day on average. Gas prices are up more than 60 percent, prompting President Biden to write a letter to the Federal Trade Commission, accusing gas companies of unfairly hiking prices and asking for an investigation. The president writing in part, I do not accept hardworking Americans paying more for gas because of anti-competitive or otherwise potentially illegal conduct. But for now, those high prices and travel headaches are an unwelcome guest for the holidays. There are some people who like to make those last minute plans over the holiday. They could be in trouble this year. There just isn't a lot of supply out there. So cars, hotels, flights, they could run out, Craig. All right, Stephanie Gosk, it sounds like you're talking to me directly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Steph. I'm going to put my turkey in the oven today. Yeah, no, right? No, do you no, recommend no, that? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Will that try it out? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, But what we are talking about, we got another storm coming into the Pacific Northwest today. This one, not quite as bad as the last, so that's good news. We've got this frontal system here bringing in much cooler air behind it. We'll look at that. But let's look ahead now to Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving week. And you can see we've got another storm coming into the Pacific Northwest, wet, but not a, a, a real big game changer. But we are what we're watching is this Midwest to Northeast storm. This is starting, okay, on Sunday. This storm develops across the Midwest, bringing snow behind it. The front will head east through Sunday night. Now, as this front develops, along with this low pressure system, on Monday, we're looking for rain along the East Coast. Lake effect snow starts de developing from Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, all the way into the upper mid... I should say the upper parts of New England. Now, Tuesday, here's where things really get cranked up. That system pulls away. We're watching the development of that storm. Does it linger? Does a secondary storm develop? But we are looking for a possibility of snow from Albany, Syracuse, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, scattered snow showers for the northeast. We'll be watching that very closely. Arctic cold coming in, and this is going to set up the lake effect snow machine. I mean, we're talking some places getting upwards of a foot of snow, parts of New England into western New York. And here's what we're looking for as far as the airports. B early next week, Boston, rain and wind, going to be big problems. Here in New York, D.C., some delays. Cleveland, heavy delays, snow and wind. Same for Cincinnati, Nashville, and Chicago. So we're going to watch this as it develops. But again, allow yourself extra time early part of the week. By Thanksgiving, things should be clear. And things will hopefully, in any airport delays, will have all been straightened out. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.